my friends. Miss you in here again for EL Skills. Um, it is lesson 108 today, and we are going to do some interactive writing. It's going to be our sentence um, matching day, and you're going to practice um, some ending sounds in some words, which is awesome. So, if you could take aim, that would be great. I can. Say the beginning, the middle, and the end phonemes, which are sounds, in a CVC word. Let your arrows go. Let those arrows go. Now let's say the letters that we know. Think of the sounds and go, go, go. Open up your mouth big and wide. Sometimes your breath comes from deep inside. As we say the letters, we will know. Our letter sound skills will grow, grow, grow. Oh, I miss singing to you guys every day, I really do. All right, so let's see. So we had a poem on Friday, and it was called One Thing We All Like to Do. So we're gonna actually look at this poem today, and we're gonna look at it for a different reason, not for um, mystery words, but for something else. And we are going to try and figure out um, two or a couple of words that have an ink ending sound and an ank ending sound. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like. It ends in the ending sound ink or ank, just like that. So today we're gonna focus on the ink ending sound and the ank ending sound in this poem, okay? So I'm gonna read the poem to you a couple of times, maybe once or twice, and we'll go from there. Alrighty, friends, here we go. One thing we all like to do. One day, my class had to say, one game that we all could play. One kid named Hank said to the crew, how about one thing we all like to do? I swam to the middle and tried not to sink. I said, one thing we all like to do is blink. Not all of my friends swam out to me. Some of them stayed on the bank. But we all had such fun that when we were done, we said, thank you, friend Hank. That was a really good one. Okay, so I just wanted you to listen to it first. And I know you guys saw this on Friday, but I'm gonna read it one more time. And I want you to touch your nose, just like in class, when you hear an ank ending sound, like sank, or an ink ending sound, like sink, okay? And I'm gonna point to those words as we say them uh, after the poem is finished, okay? So here we go, remember. Touch your noses. You can actually follow with me. I'll do it too. You can touch your noses when you hear me say any words that end in sink or in ink, sorry, or in ank. And here we go. One thing we all like to do. One day my class had to say, one game that we all could play. One kid named Hank said to the crew, how about one thing we all like to do? I swam to the middle and tried not to ink. I said, one thing we all like to do is blink. Not all my friends swam out to me. Some of them stayed on the bank. But we all had such fun when we were done. We said, Thank you, friend Hank. That was a really good one. Okay, so I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna show you on my whiteboard the ink words in this poem, and I'm gonna show you the ank words in this poem, and then I'm actually going to circle them for you in the poem. So we have a little bit of practice with this, okay? Here we go. I just want to make sure I got them all. Yep. Okay. So here we are. So words that end in ink in 
in this poem is ink and bull ink. You know what? Let me get another marker. Hold on. I want you guys to really notice the difference here. Okay, we'll highlight it or we'll underline it in black. So ink, I'm going to show you where the ink ending is. See that? I boxed it out. So ink is a word and bull ink is a word. So I'm going to box out the word ink. Here we go. See that? Bull. Can't see the L there. I don't know what happened to it. It disappeared. So sorry, friends. Okay. So here we are. We have bull ink and ink. And then for hank, we have the ink ending sound. And I will box those out for you as well. So we have on this side, ank and b ank okay so they end in the ank sound and these words end in the ink sound okay so i'm gonna just show you really quick on our poems where they are okay i'm just gonna circle them for you so here we go i'm gonna insert circle and you're gonna tell me where they are so right here hank Ank is actually an ank ending word, okay? And let's see where else we have. Da, 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 da. Oh, here we go, sink. Sink is another, is an ink ending word, so it ends in the word, or in the sound, ink. Oh, here's another one, blink. That's another ink ending word. Okay. Oh, here we go. Bank. That ends in the ank word. I'm going to circle that one for you right there. And there's one more. We have the word hank. Okay, so see, friends, how it ends in a n k, the ank, and the ink is the i n k for the ink. So, hmm, I have a question for you. How many syllables are in each word sink and blink and hank and bank? So let's clap it out. I know that you guys know how to do this and I know you're at home and I can't see you doing this. So let's clap it together, ready? Bank, one. Sink, one. Blink, one. And hank. One. So there are all words that we just see with those ink and ank ending sounds. They have one syllable. Hmm, how do you know that? I know that because I only clapped once. I only heard one syllable. I only heard one beat in that word. Okay, so remember now when I say ink, it ends in the ink sound. When I say bull ink, it ends in the ink sound. When I say ank, it ends in the ank sound. And when I say b ank, it ends in the ank sound. So think about something. Hmm. <laughs> there are some more words out there that end in ink and ank. And I want you to take a minute, just a minute. I want you to pause me, pause me as, as I'm talking. Now I want you to try and write a word down that you think of that ends in an ink ending sound or an ank ending sound. I'm gonna give you a minute. Please pause me. And I want to see when you're ready. You ready? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go on this side of my whiteboard and on the top, I'm gonna to put ink and I'm gonna draw a line down the middle. And on the other side, I'm gonna put ank because these are ending sounds. They end in those words. Okie dokie, okie dokie. All right, here we go. See how I did that with my boards? You guys could do the same thing. That would be awesome. If you don't have a whiteboard, it's okay. Do it on paper. So, hmm. So we know sink 
is one word that ends in ink because we just said it. And we know blink is a word that ends in ink because we just said it. So huh, let me think of something. Oh, let me think. Hey, you got another one. So I'm going to write the word think. Okay, what else is there out there? Hmm. Oh, what am I doing? I am winking. Oh, ink. That ends in the ink sound too. You guys are doing great. Oh my goodness. I am so excited. All right, now let's move over to the ink sound. Okay. And just notice, I want you to look at my mouth. I know some of us have a hard time with sounds. So I want you to look at my mouth and I want you to look at how my mouth looks when I say the ink sound. So ink, ink, ink. Notice how my mouth is kind of closed. Eh, eh, eh. My teeth are kind of open. Eh, eh, eh. But I'm not, my mouth isn't like this, right? You guys don't see my mouth doing that. You see my mouth doing this. Ink. I'm kind of like smiling. Ink. And for the ank sound, let's see what my mouth looks like when I do the ank sound. Ank. Oh, my mouth is open. It looks a lot different. So practice that right now. Ink, 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 ank, ank, ank. I know you guys look silly and I probably look silly too, but I want you to really notice what your mouth is doing when you are making those sounds. Ink, 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 ank, ank, ank. All right. So let's move over to the ank sounding. Hmm. Well, we know hank ends in ank, because we just figured it out, because it's circled in my poem. And we know bank ends in the ank sound. Hmm. What else ends in the ank sound? Ooh, I got one. When you say bank. When you say thank you. Okay. All right, so we got a few words here. Let's see. And I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna underline the the ending sounds, or I'm gonna actually box them out so you guys can see them. You guys can do the same thing. I want you to look at the ending sounds. And wait a minute. Think, blink, think, wink. What is the same about those words? There's something that's the same. I know, friends. We've been doing so much work with rhyming words. Sink, blink, think, and wink all rhyme because they end the same, they sound the same at the end. How about this one? Hank, bank, and bank. Look at this, I'm gonna show you. Ha ha, look at that. So I've boxed out all of the ink ending sounds in my words. Sink, blink, think, and wink. They all end in ink and they do rhyme. Over here, we have Hank, bank, and bank, and I've boxed out all of the ank sounds because they are the same ending sound and they all rhyme. It's pretty cool. Awesome, awesome. All right, take aim again. I can use what I know about letters and their sounds to spell simple words. Okay? Let your arrows go. I know you guys love to do that. All right, here we are. Now let's all, oh, now let's all be writers, be writers, be writers. Now let's all be writers like the authors we love. Listen to the sentence, the sentence, the sentence. Listen to the sentence we will write as a group. Okay, so we're gonna write a sentence today. I know we just did the ink and the ank ending sounds, but I want you guys to remember that. And I also want you guys to um, think about how we're gonna write some sentences today, okay? So here we go. We're gonna actually look at a picture from one of our books that we read on Friday. Josh and Chip went to the farm. And we're gonna make a sentence to match the picture. And then you guys are gonna make a sentence to match the picture, okay? So here we go. Here's my picture. It is from the book, 
Josh and Chip at the farm. And it doesn't have words on the bottom because I need you guys to be my helpers. So what do you say? Hmm, I really can't hear you. I wish I could, but I see Chip getting on the bus. Okay, so that could be something that I could write. Well, you know what? Wait, let me look a little closer here. I don't just see Chip getting on the bus. Yes, I see Chip and Josh getting on the bus. So hold on a minute, hold on a minute. So that picture that you see on your screen where Chip is running on the bus and Josh is running to get on the bus, a matching sentence could be Chip and Josh are going on the bus. Now, I don't expect you to spell all the words correctly because we're just kindergartners. And remember, I'm pretending to be you too. So here we go. Chip and Josh are going on the bus. Good job. That sentence matches that picture because that's exactly what's happening. Chip and Josh are getting on the bus or going on the bus. So that is the sentence that would match with that picture. Now, you guys are gonna do it for me. How many words though first are in this sentence? Let's count. I'm gonna highlight them or underline them as we go. Chip, one. And is two. Josh is three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, we have eight words in our sentence that we just made. Good job, guys. That's a pretty big sentence with eight words. Awesome. So let's follow along again. Take your um, fingers, your magic fingers, and follow along. Chip and Josh are going on the bus. Okay? Now, you guys are going to do it. Okay? You guys are going to do it, and you're going to, that's part of your assignment today as well. So I have a picture from you from the book last week from Josh and Chip Go to the Farm. And this is what the picture is, okay? It's this picture, okay? We just wrote the sentence for this picture, Josh and Chip go on the bus. I want us to think of a sentence to match this picture, okay? So that's your assignment today. You actually have two assignments, okay? Your first assignment, your first assignment. I want you to think of as many ink words as you can, okay? So you can use some of the ones that I did, okay? Like this, that end in ink. And I also want you to think of all of the ank words that you can, ending in ank, okay? And what I want you to do, in your notebook, okay, I'm gonna get my notebook out. Here's my notebook. I'm going to split my page in half. So this is gonna say EL skills on top. I'm gonna split my page in half and I'm gonna write ink on one side and I'm gonna write ink on the other side. And I want you to try and think of as many words that you can ending in the ending ink and ending in the ending ink. That's your first part of your skills. Your second part of your skills is to please think of a sentence for this picture, okay? We did two things today. We, we identified ink and ank words, and we came up with a sentence to match a picture, okay? So that's your jobs today. You're gonna think of as many ink and ank words as you can, and you're going to write a sentence to match the picture, okay? Hope you guys have fun with it. I will hopefully see you soon. Um, remember, mommies take pictures of the work, please, so I know it's done. See you in a little bit. Bye, guys.